Kaylee, your friendly neighborhood hairstylist here, and today we're doing some short hair updos. Perhaps I should say short and medium hair because my hair has grown very quickly since I got it cut. Oh my goodness. I've always thought short haired updos seemed like kind of a challenge that I wanted to take on, so today we are taking on that challenge. Not only do I want to create an updo with shorter to medium hair, I want them to be easy. I want you to be able to do them at home because goodness gracious, why else am I making tutorials? And I am very happy with how these came out. So whether you are going to a wedding or you're in a wedding or you're getting married, congratulations, or you know, whatever you have coming up, these updos are definitely doable on your own or with a friend. I hope you guys enjoyed these. I enjoyed putting them together. If you do, don't forget to hit the like button to help support my channel. And if you're new here, you can hit the subscribe button to join the Bradaholic family here on Kaylee and Melissa. But that being said, let's get into the video. My hair is so big, it's full of secrets. To prepare my hair for today's video, I curled it with the Amica Chameleon Curling Wand in the one inch attachment. And before that, I used the Kenra Heat Block Spray. This is a high hold heat protectant spray. Definitely good for special occasions, and I really like it before an updo because it helps the curls to hold as you're putting the updo in and not fall out quite as easily. But now, let's updo. Let's start with something very easy shall we? First, you're going to separate the hair in front of your ears on either side and put everything else into a low ponytail. I'm going to have this sitting maybe like one and a half, two inches up from the very bottom of my hairline. Then we're going to loosen it up. You're going to hear a lot of that today over the elastic just to make sure everything looks nice and texturized and full and gives you a little bit more special occasion look. And now we're just going to work on pulling back these pieces. The first thing you're going to do is split the hair on each side in half and take the back half back and secure it close to the end with an elastic. Then you're going to twist it over and between the cross in the hair and the elastic you're going to feed your ponytail and it's just going to create this crisscross effect without bobby pins. What? So nice, so easy. <laughs> then you're going to do that again with the hair that's left down. Leave any pieces out around your face if you want. This time you're going to twist it in the opposite direction so that it crisscrosses differently and looks even cooler. And again, feed the ponytail through and you're pretty much done. And from here it's really just finessing. So you can go around and kind of loosely pull out a couple pieces if you want to texturize some more. If you have any pieces that have fallen out and you don't want them out, you can go back and pin them back in place. Any little tweaks like that. Um, you probably will have to do some of those. But overall, this is pretty much the hairstyle. The last problem you might have to troubleshoot is these elastics showing on the bottom, especially if you have light colored hair. It's really easy to fix. I'm just gonna take a U-shaped pin like this, but you could also use a bobby pin. And I'm gonna hold the very bottom layer of my ponytail against my head and pin up and into the ponytail. This both makes the ponytail look fuller and hides any little elastics hanging out underneath. And that is a very quick and easy little ponytail option that you can have if your hair needs to be up, if you want just a little something. It makes it look very styled and put together, but you don't actually need a lot of skill to do it, which is key. Now here's a quick little update if you want to turn this from a ponytail into an updo. Take that bobby pin out or just don't put it in. <laughs> and then you're going to tease the bottom lightly and secure it with an elastic on the very end of the ponytail. Now you're going to tuck that elastic up and underneath the previous elastic and pin that in place so that you create a little chignon. Then you'll most likely need to kind of pull the edges of it around to finish out the shape of the updo, pin that in place as well, and you're done with this little upgrade. I feel like this is definitely a good updo option. I like that it's a mix of kind of textured and tousled, a little bit more formal, and I feel like it could go with a lot of different looks. Now, if your hair is a couple inches shorter than mine, Here's the modifications I'd make. First of all, for the first step, I would leave some of the hair behind the ears out and use that for the first section that you take back and twist because that hair is going to be a little longer. Then do as much as you can with the hair in front of your ears and when some of that hair falls out, because it will, you can just take little pieces back and pin them and it will look all tousled and cute. And then if you want to create the chignon shape, actually do the ponytail just a little bit higher up because your hair is longer in the middle of your head just because of the way the hair is cut. And then instead of folding it all the way up and underneath the first elastic, just tuck it under to create that little tuck, little roll bun situation. Still have the same look, but you don't need as much hair to do it. And 
And now obviously we need to do some braids. <laughs> first braid I'm gonna do is a Dutch braid that kind of covers the first few inches right here so we can pick up a bunch of hair and then we're gonna braid the rest normally, secure it with a bobby pin and go through and pull it apart. And there we go. Now I'm gonna make just a little rope braid right behind that one. I'm twisting the pieces toward my face and wrapping them away from my face, securing it with the bobby pin at the end. And I'm just gonna pull on this a little bit, to get it looser. And finally, let's just do one more little braid on this side and then fluff it out. Now everything but the braids is gonna come back into a low ponytail and then you're gonna loosen it up to make it more voluminous. I've got a pattern going, okay? It works. <laughs> I just wanna take a minute to point out that the ponytail being able to look pretty and PC and all of that when you pull it apart does have to do with curling the hair first because that way when you pull at it and you loosen it up, it already has a bend in the hair which gives it that extra texture. If you didn't do that first, your natural texture would come through in whatever way it shows up. With me, it would be just kind of straight and weird. If you have maybe more natural frizz or anything like that, that would start coming into play. So heat styling at first, even though it seems tedious and unnecessary, does make those extra little steps just easy and work. And that's why I like it. <laughs> One thing you might encounter, especially if your hair is shorter than mine, is that uh, big pieces might fall out because uh, it doesn't all reach to the back. You're fine. You can just pick up a piece like this, leave out anything that you do wanna leave out, and then you just sweep this back gently and pin it in place wherever it falls on your head and it gives you that extra texture. So it's just extra on the hairstyle. It looks even better if you have it. You just have to know how to work with it. And now all these braids are gonna obviously come back and get pinned in place. You actually wanna pin them underneath the ponytail holder. That way it all comes together when the bun is done. And now we just have to make the bun. And basically with whatever hair you have, you can maneuver it around and pin it in place to create a pretty shape. If you need a little bit of extra help, you can always use a mini hair donut. That will be perfect for short hair because you can kind of pin around and over it even if you don't have a lot of hair to work with. But I'm gonna show you how to work with my hair to about two inches shorter than my hair. Let's do it. So I'm gonna be twisting and pinning four sections from this ponytail. The first one is on top. I'm going to twist it and then I'm going to grab a tiny piece at the end and scrunch the twist back up. You're gonna see that makes it so much more voluminous, gives it so much more shape. I'm pinning it like a rainbow up and over the hair elastic. And now you're gonna grab another piece and do the same thing going the opposite direction. So I went to the right, this time I'm gonna go to the left, twist, scrunch, and pin. Now this is where we get a little fancy. We have basically two sections left. I'm going to leave the middle section unpinned and skip down to the bottom. With that, I'm just gonna create kind of a half circle filling out one side of the bottom of the bun pin that in place. And now with that last section of hair, you're just gonna twist and scrunch and fill out whatever is left of the bun and pin it in place and you're done. And that's it for this braided hairstyle. You guys know I had to throw in something with a braid and I do really like this one. I think it's definitely recreatable at home. It's pretty, it's easy, I'm here for it. <laughs> And now on to kind of a tousled beachy updo option. We're gonna separate the hair into three tiers. So first you're gonna take the hair from kind of the crown up and we're gonna clip that out of the way. Then you're gonna separate your hair from the ears up and also clip that out of the way. Now with the hair that we left down, we're going to bring it together in the back and create a little chignon. This is gonna be again about two inches up from your hairline. And you create a chignon by leaving the hair looped the last time it goes through the hair elastic. Now we let down the next tier. You're gonna take this one back and wrap it around the base of the chignon and pin it in place as you go. And now we just have the last tier. Let's let it down. So now with these two pieces that we have left down, we're going to be crisscrossing them in the back over the top of the chignon. So I'm gonna start with my shallow side because I always like having the full side be the last one to like go around. So I'm going to pull this around the top of the chignon and pin as I go. And I'm actually gonna leave the ends hanging free. I like how that looks. I like that it's a little bit more textured, but you can always tuck and pin them if you want. And now just do the same thing on the other side. And for this, I'm back to using the U-shaped pins. I would say the bobby pins are good for structure. These are good for aesthetics. So essentially, if you've already got a ponytail or a bun base that you can pin into, these can be really good for you know controlling and positioning the extra little hairs. And now it's time for any last little adjustments. You might find that some hairs have sprouted out of your chignon. You can either pin those down and out of the way or just tuck them in, whatever works. If you have any little baby hair sticking out, also deal with those with pins. 
and just generally finish things up, add some hairspray, you're done. <laughs> and that's it for this hairstyle. I really love the texture on this one. I love that you can still get this kind of like beachy updo vibe even with shorter hair. It's great, it's cute, I'm really into it. If your hair is shorter than mine, you shouldn't need to make a lot of adjustments. Uh, you might need to position the chignon just a little lower to accommodate the hair that you do have. But in general, this should all come together very similarly to mine. And there are some short hair updos for you guys, whether it's time for weddings or a holiday season or whatever else you have going on. Maybe just a fancy Tuesday. I don't know. You now have an updo that you can wear for it. <laughs> Tell me in the comments below which one of these is your favorite. I'm curious to know. I would pick either this braided one or the tousled one because like, those are the most me, obviously. <laughs> but I do like how all of these came together and I hope this gives you some great ideas for whatever you have coming up. But uh, I think that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like button to help support my channel. If you're new here, you can hit that subscribe button to join the Bradaholic family here on Kaylee Melissa. And all y'all can hit that bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. But that's it for today. Whether you are old or new or a casual lurker, thank you for spending time with me and I'll see you in my next video. Moi. Bye! If, and now what? Did you see newest iPhone has three lenses? I don't know what they do, but there's three of them. So now I need a new phone. I keep running into stuff. Is Mercury in retrograde? Feels like it.